Hey, the Big Master here, and it's me, my Kokoro Connect Episode 4 review. This was a good episode here. Backstory is getting revealed in this, so character development is happening. And Taiki, the healer of all healers, comes and tries to heal them all. So, uh, yeah, it's, this one's more centered around Himiko and uh, Liori. Or not gonna say I was called, not gonna say Kakuki saying I'm saying Liori wrong or Lori wrong or whatever. But yeah, so how this goes basically, um, Himiko is okay. You know, from the last episode, she passed out and everything and, and stuff. And she just was worried or not getting enough sleep basically. And so she just passed out off the lack of sleep. So yeah, she's fine now. And so what's that happening right there? She ends up just spouting about the whole, you know, he's a freak, you know, he, um, Taiki's a freak, the, the selfless freak and stuff like that, you know, she just keeps messing with him with that for some reason, and so she's like, go help Lori out, bye, and so she ends up going to her house and everything like that, and so Lori's, or not gonna say, she's like, well, I don't like how she just tried to decide everything for me, but whatever then, so you think you can actually help me? And so then she's gonna go on about saying what she, what she, what she needs help with and what's wrong with her and everything like that. But before she did that, actually, she's like, before we talk about anything serious, this was funny. Before we talk about anything serious, uh, I'm going to crack a joke. And you're like, it's no time to make jokes. What's up with this? And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to make a joke. And I hope you guys are ready. Oh, wait. I don't know. If you, I, I have no joke. And you're like, what are you, this is stupid. This is a pointless thing. And so basically, it, 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 the whole joke to it was just that she didn't have a joke. I mean, she, she, she wanted to make a joke, but she didn't have a joke. But then, I mean, she actually had a joke, but she like, I, the joke is that she didn't have a joke. And so... Um, so that time she's like, "What? I, this is stupid. Why you do? Why? I don't even understand this. What, what is the point in this?" And, she, and she's like, "Ah, I got you. you Gotta make sure you actually play along with me." <laughs> so I was like, "Oh wow!" And so she ends up getting serious and tell her what's, tell him what's going on, or to why Himiko was worried about Lori, or not gonna say. And the reason why uh, um, Himiko was worried is because basically Nagase has a like different personality. She Fits the she fits the mold. What she fits the personality to what what the situation is basically. Um, she has like five fathers, but three are really notable. Like the, one of them were like crazy, not crazy, but was, they get mad really easily. So she had to tune her personality to to him, so she wouldn't get him mad. And you know, she, it, just going bad. And like I think it was her fourth father. I'm not exactly sure what the number was, but her fourth father passed away. She said he saw being sad. And like be yourself, you know, be yourself and live live. Live life on your for your own, you know. Don't don't because he he's he, I guess he noticed that, you know, she was just playing to him I guess, and so after she heard that she's like, I don't really even know myself because, you know, I've been doing this multiple personality stuff, since forever, and so she's worried about that there if anyone's gonna still remember her when they do this whole body switch thing, which is why Himiko is worried about with the whole body switch with her because she always does multiple personalities they might not know who she actually is in the end, you know, because she has different personalities that fits, fits the situation. So th that's the problem. But then Taiki's like, it doesn't matter. I'm always going to know who you, um, who you are. But then he's about to say this. He's about to say, um, she's asking, like, are you sure? Like, you're going to find, you, you, how, are you so, how are you so sure that you gonna, you'll know it's me? And, and he's going to say, because I love, he's like, and then you remember what uh, Himiko said. He's like, you know, your kindness can actually hurt people, you know? So he's like, uh, and I'll just remember. I guarantee I will remember it. So he didn't say I love you. So apparently, Taichi does have feelings for um Nagase, which is interesting. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't straight out there, you know. But now it seems like it really is out there. So um, yeah. So she's like, all right, then I'll, I'll trust you. Then I'll trust you. And so they got it kind of got it kind of down now. So it's very interesting that she's a multiple personality person that fits the situation best. Basically, if there's anything going on, something something's different about the situation, she reads it. And basically molds her personality into that situation, which is very interesting. So yeah, so after that happened and everything like that, we ended up getting some Himiko, not Himiko, yeah, yeah, some Himiko and Taiki action here. You know, Himiko was not feeling too well. She was um, laying down. Uh, someone was in Taiki's body at the time. I was confused at first. I was like, what is he? It's not, it's not, it seemed it seemed weird what he was talking about. But then oh, okay, never mind. He was like, he was the switch body switch thingy. But it ends up getting back to his own body. And so that's when the whole conversation happens. And apparently, what's wrong with Himiko? And it's not because she's tired. There's not there's not no physical anything like that. It's her mental state where she's like, she's very worried. She can't trust anybody. She hasn't trusted anybody in this world ever since she was born. Is what you're saying. And so you know, with the fact that um, Taichi's so nice, that makes her, um, make that makes her that makes him her worst enemy basically. And so. Yeah, Himiko is just a very untrust. She can't trust anyone. She just has trust issues. She can't. She's making this. A, she's making this a really, really big deal. And the thing is, Taichi is like 
it's, it's okay, you know. It's okay that you, I, it bothers me you don't trust me, but nonetheless, it's it's you know we still we're friends and stuff. I'll trust I trust you and I'll give you one of my secrets and stuff like that. So you know to try to bring build trust between the between the, between the, between each other. What's wrong with me? <laughs> so yeah. So basically, what what uh, Taiki's uh, secret is this is this this right here was just like okay yeah, yeah I, I mean like this this is very odd you know but you know he you know jerked off to uh, Himiko, Lori and and uh, and you so it was just like you know he, he did that you know he's it's not a daily occasion or anything like that but he you know he did that stuff you know and so Himiko's like. <laughs> she's just laughing like this is what's wrong with you you perk uh, it's it just yeah but she he, he kind of broke the wall with her not without being so like so like tr tr having trust issues and stuff like that and so he ends up getting her to actually tell the rest of them the, you know, the rest of his, her friends about why what she, how she feels and how she's feeling about this why this the reason why she's acting like this and why she passed out is because she's so stressed about this you know this whole trust stuff but so she ends up telling them and freaking everyone's like Okay, you know, you kind of blowing this up a portion, you know. I mean, it's, it's sad you don't. He's like, um, uh, Aoki's like, oh man, so you don't just trust, you, you're, not, you're not just mistrusting me, you, you don't trust everyone, everyone else, right? And he's like, well, that's your problem, like, you know, because everyone, because you know, it's just the thing. We're, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to say this. Oh yeah, um, the reason why she has all this trust issues is because you know the whole body switching thingy is that she thinks that if they do the body switch, they can do some crime, and then you know you can be in her body, and, you, and she, you, you can be like you can be in Himiko's body, and you kill someone, and you're like. Eh, eh, eh. And all of a sudden, you see she switches back and is like, "What's going on?" No, she goes to jail because of that. You know, she's worried about stupid stuff like that. She's very, she sees all the negative and not none of the positives. But nonetheless, like a friend, a friend accepted her in the in the in the story. In the story, you know, she 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 was worried about nothing really because those are her best friends. Why would they do anything stupid like that in the first place? You know, that's the, that's one of the things she should have should have considered. You know, so she didn't even. I don't know. This is weird. And so, you know, she's like, well, you're trying to make me fall for you, too, because she started, like, kind of tearing up and stuff like that it's because of Tai Chi, you know. So, yeah, at the end of the episode, um, <laughs> Himiko's like, I'm going to tell you one of my secrets, too. And she's like, um, I, I, did, I did the same thing with you, you know, the whole jerking off masturbation stuff. Yeah, yeah. And she, and she just smiled, like, <laughs> like a troll smile or something. I'm like, what the heck? So, uh, yeah, this was a good episode. It's nice character development building for these two for these two characters, I really wanted to know what's what's behind them now, and so the only person we really need to know at this point is Aoki, and maybe you can get help him out or in some way. Though he seems okay, I don't really see anything wrong with him. Maybe he's, but or maybe he's acting like that or something. Who knows? Who really knows? But this next episode looks pretty interesting. Uh, it looks like some. I think the heart man comes back, and like this things get a little kind of intense. So I'm just like, this this stuff's getting good. This stuff's getting good. Um. Yeah, I, I like I like Tai Chi. I'm surprised he's healing healing everybody like this. You know, it's it's just, it's just very very like odd because he's a selfless freak. I guess you can call him that. But he just cares about everyone else and he wants to do the best he can to help each other. You know, so yeah, and also, and also her friends were were not like acting weird around um you. So that's that was good too, by the way. I wanted to just noted that. So uh yeah, what are your guys' thoughts and opinions on this episode? Leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about it. Like, like this review, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more Kokoro Connect reviews. So yeah, it's been the Break Master, and until then, break out.